Hello all and welcome back to Belfast Worm Farmer. This is our latest video update. I don't have my little helpers with me today, they're still at school. I'm just trying to get this video filmed today before the rain changes and the early dark nights kick in. Um, we said in our last video how we teamed up with Dog and Hat Coffee Company and that we were going to be testing their compostable Nespresso coffee pods. Um, we don't have an Nespresso coffee machine so we had to pass them over to somebody else to try um, and now we've got them back now we can add them to our worm bins we've actually put some in that haven't been used but we read somewhere that um, once they've been used as in high pressure with hot water that they start breaking down so to test this theory we also have put one in water and just left it to see what happens and we'll show you the results shortly so this is the one that we've been testing in water as you can see it's broken down smaller. Um, we emptied the coffee out first of all and added that to the worm bin but something that we've noticed that if you scrape your finger on it you can actually feel it becomes fibrous so we're hoping that that adds to we're hoping that that's a sign that it's breaking down but this has been in there um, uh, over a week now and it hasn't actually broken down in a week so but we'll keep testing it and see how it goes these are the espresso pods that have been used, so shortly we'll be adding them to one of our worm bins. And the coffee is actually from the Eden Project, so go check them out and we'll let you know how we get on with these pods. It says they're compostable capsules and lid, so it's interesting to see what happens. But uh, it just says. On the back of it here, it says that the it's free from al there it is. We're free from aluminium and oil-based plastic, so we'll let you know how that how we get on with that. As we've shown you in our previous videos, we recycle tasmu pods in the way that we cut them out, recycle the foil and the plastic part in a household food waste. We cut it open and then we store it. This is actually tea and coffee in here, and that's we feed that to our worms as well. It's actually quite therapeutic cutting them open, but as I say, we don't have a coffee machine ourselves, so we get all of these given to us. That's from one person. Drink a lot of coffee. We also feed our worms porridge oats. As you read in our blog or in a previous video, we talk about how this is high in protein, which um, makes the worms grow bigger. Um, but we found that the worms weren't really eating it like this. So what we do now is we put the, the porridge oats through a blender and it comes out much finer. We find that the worms eat it much quicker. You'll see, it doesn't, doesn't build up and get all clumpy. This bin is our test bin that we're going to use, put the espresso pods in. We've established this bin a few weeks back and we've added worms and we've left them, fed them and we've just left them just to get used to the environment. So we're just going to add the pods now. So we're just going to leave them on top and then judge how they go. But, uh, so we'll let you know how we go. And thank you to the Dog and Hat Coffee Company for giving them us these pods to try in the first place. But we will let you know how we're getting on with them. Just quickly fed the worms there and they're looking, yeah, growing really well. Just enjoying a lovely peppermint tea here just to enjoy the warmth. Uh, yeah, well, I need to head off now to go and pick up the kids from uh, from school and hopefully we'll get this edited and they might make an uh, appearance later on. Um, as to far as our worm bins go, um, we are expanding and growing all the time and it's been a lot of fun. We've made a lot of friends over various social media and we've getting lots of likes and comments and uh, yeah, we just seem to be building a very good community online seems that it was already there but uh, we just didn't find it until we started this uh, project ourselves um, going forward we'll, we'll be taking a bit slower leading into the Christmas period myself and my wife will get very busy and the kids will get very excited as you could imagine um, plans for the new year just keep up the, the good work um, keep doing what we do because we seem to be doing it well um, for novices we seem to be doing well yes um, uh, we're hoping to get a, an, uh, a bigger worm shed in the new year um, and expand 
very quickly into that. Um, someone asked us recently, what do we plan to do with the worms? We're just going to keep them. Um, we have had been suggested about selling that to help fund the expansion and things like that, but until we see a need to, we won't. Um, we love the idea of of recycling stuff, food waste and cardboard and paper and potentially coffee pods as well. Um, and then giving the compost back to the community in some respects. Uh, another comment we recently had was um, about the worms make wonderful pets. We only have to see the videos with my boys talking about how, how they like the worms and stuff like that to see that uh, yeah, they do make good pets and they're very easy to maintain and look after um, for very little cost. All of this, what you see in all the videos so far, we this cost us nothing really. The worms, yes, the worms have cost us money, but apart from that, the boxes are free, the food is free, everything's been free so far. So if you're like us and you like to do a bit for the environment and to try and recycle what you can, it's it, it, it's free pets and fun basically. So yeah, something else that we've been working in the background is a remote sensor for to basically remote uh, remotely sense what the worm bin temperature is of each worm bin. Um, there's a bit of coding and some JavaScript and working with Raspberry Pis. Um, and my two boys are quite excited by this project. Um, yeah, but we'll talk about that more in the new year with the possibility of a bigger expansion and um, yeah. So until next time, we'll look after yourselves and yeah, if you want to like our videos, hit the like button and don't forget to hit the little bell if you want notifications of our future videos. Thanks very much. See you later.